Holly James and we are on Aberavon Seafront today outside the front bar and kitchen to speak to a Welsh rugby legend. So Richard Hibbard, you have finally hung up the rugby boots. You have announced your retirement and I bet it feels very overwhelming for you. Yeah, that's probably a little bit of an understatement. It's, it's, been, it's been nuts to be fair. Uh, it's one of those things I kind of want to go quietly into the, sort of into the night, but I was thinking the other night, I was, could I have got a few more games in? Uh, <laughs> but you're always like that. Uh, looking back at it, I've done exactly what I said I had to do as a kid. So you put on Twitter that you are retiring and then it absolutely blows up. Is there anyone who's been in contact with you where you thought, actually, maybe I did make a huge impact in this sport? Yeah, yeah it's a few. Uh, it was a fair few, to be fair. Old coaches, I was surprised that um, there's boys who were, I haven't actually played with, but played against messages from Ireland against opposition uh, all across Argentina, everywhere. It's just really nice well wishes and it's just as hard getting hit on the pitch, there were all those nice messages off the pitch, it was just, it was just uh, incredible to be fair. So there's been a lot of reflection over the last week, I take it. Can you pinpoint any highlights of your career? You look back and you're thinking, Jesus, which games does it stand out the most? But it's, it, it is the, the big ones, it's like the, the third test in the Lions, uh, two, one all in a series and into the side, that was a big one. The Wales, 30 points to three, uh, just the manner of that one was massive because we was always here on a massive losing streak, lose our opening game and then go on to win it. It was just incredible. It's, it's not just the, the, the big moments, the, it's the little achievements as well. When you get a new team together or a group of boys who are not expecting them to go well and then we just absolutely surprise everyone. It, it's, it's great. And little wins here and there, just incredible. Winning out in Leinster after they just won the Heineken Cup. Uh, no one expected that us to do that. And it's not just the games, it's the training as well. That's what I probably did in the last few years, is to go in and just take the piss out of our boys and uh, really get stuck into them. It's, it's all the small parts I'll probably uh, miss the most. So you hang your boots up professionally as a Dragon. Um, what are your reflections over the last couple of seasons being at Dragons? It's been good. I, the growth, I, I'm super impressed with it. It's, it's the growth from when we started and Bernie came in, he had a great vision of what he wanted and where he wanted to take the Dragons. And when Dean came in, and the, the step up again and just the development now within the region with the players and, and the boys who are coming through with the Anirons, the, the Carts, these boys, Tain, they just, they're the next generation superstars. And, uh, and it, it's been great to see, to be fair. Uh, we've finally seen the rewards by quality of back room and and that is a knock-on effect a few older players come in a few better signings come in and, uh, and that's a huge reflection on them of the development of the boys and it shows how many boys we've got in the Welsh team now so it's been a good time uh, I have really enjoyed it it's a challenge in itself being the underdog constantly but it's kind of a, a good challenge you like going out there and surprising people you are a seasoned pro, obviously, Hibs. You know, you, you've been around for a very long time. What, what's it been like passing on that knowledge to the younger players? To be honest, they don't listen to me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. It's not like you're not like some wise Yoda. It's ju it's just like because I played for so long, I've made so many mistakes over my career and in games, in training and stuff. I sort of know how to deal with it. So I'm more of a, a guide and a help in that sort of a sense. And a few do come and ask questions, which is nice. I see him as a as my brothers to be fair, and I like to look after him. So that's, that's the, the the thing for me there. Well, obviously it's been a, a really rubbish time with COVID over the last two years, but the fans have absolutely loved having you as a dragon. Have you got a special message for your supporters? Yeah, just a, just a big thank you, big thank support, and it's them there supporting you, cheering. That's one of the reasons you go out there to do it. It's, it's to do it for the, the fans. You do it for the, the, the team, the badge, the boys with you, ultimately the fans. They're, they're the people that come and pay see you. They want to come and see you smash people. They want to come and see you win these games. Like in COVID, it was horrid. All you heard was stupid whooping and hollering from the players. And, uh, I noticed I hated that a lot. Put everything you can into a team. The fans tend to embrace you. And I like to think I've, I've 
been able to do that wherever I've gone. So we're here in your beautiful kitchen and bar, Seaside Diner, which is gorgeous on the Aberavon seafront in Patalbot. Is this the way you wean yourself off the rugby now? Uh, a little bit. It's the way I'm getting fat over the day, mind, because the chefs keep giving me food. <laughs> no, it's something I've, I've always wanted. I did a cafe and then an opportunity of this came up and it's something I really enjoy doing is, is food, as, uh, as you can tell. Next, I don't know. That, that's a... It's a weird one, I was having a conversation with my wife, it's like you've been told where to go, what to do, what to eat, how to train. For the last 20 years it's like, right, I gotta get up Monday morning and decide what I'm gonna do myself. I go into the gym and I think, where's my coach telling me what to do here? So it's a, it's, it's a real weird situation, some, some things you find. I have my op, then I'll have a little bit of time just to decide what to, uh, which path to follow. Well, look, I'm sure that you are going to adapt brilliantly and you've been a great servant to Welsh Rugby and Dragons as well and we wish you all the best for the future. Thank you very much and thanks for coming out.